Hi guys, you're welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Stephanie again. So guys, on today's update, as you must have seen from the thumbnail, we got our visa. <laughs> yes, guys. So if I should calculate rightly, we started this procedure in January. It has taken us six months from the passport renewal to my South African visa renewal. And hey guys, in fact, that one is a story for another day. The application, and then now it's out. So it's been six months, like it took us half a year to get everything together to move to the UK. Guys, I'll do a proper video to talk to you about the procedure in details. Because mind you, my South African visa is not yet out, but I was able to get a visa to the UK. And I've not gone back to my country. I know it's intriguing. I will do a whole video on its own, talking about that, how we did it, and if you follow the same procedure, trust me, it is nothing illegal, okay? Because we applied and they gave us, guys. I'm elite. I'm excited. Do you say you are elite? Whatever the case. So, guys, I've been doing a bit of shopping here and there. I've gotten myself some travel suitcases that i'll be showing you guys now guys you remember the last video i posted on my skincare like i can see like hyperpigmentation on my face has reduced like dark circles my skin is doing the most now guys i know i am stressed that's why i have like soggy eyes and my voice is somehow coarse i am that's what happens when i'm stressed okay so today i'll be showing you what i got from the shops okay so guys this is the travel suitcase that i'll be using okay and this is the price 720 rands so inside that other things that i bought guys don't mind my room okay it is so messy <laughs> because i'm in the midst of packing so let me show you guys the things i got everything is in here Guys, you are here. I don't know if you can see my face, but this is the box. It is huge. <laughs> I got quite a few stuff. So for my hand luggage, I'll be using this bag. It's nice, right? Like it has a compartment under here where I can put my file with my travel documents and everything inside. You see? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so this is it it looks good like i really love it it's also like a gym bag you can use it for a gym or when you're taking your child to the park to play or picnic you can pack snacks and all other stuff here and i got it for i think it was 150 the price is not on it then <laughs> i got this ghana must go Eh, Ghana must do what go because these bags, guys. If you travel without using these bags, then I don't know if you're an African or you're from space. So these two bags, guess why I bought these bags? I have to take all of my husband's books. Anything books is here. That's what I got to. This man and his books. He doesn't joke with them. So yeah, I got these two. And then I have a third box that. A second box I'm using, sorry, which is Lisa's baby box. And then, guys, for the outfits, sorry, guys, the phone fell. So, for the outfits, this is what Lisa will be looking like. So, I got this from a sports shop here. It's a Nike shop. They only sell Nike original things. Yeah. <laughs> and this one, I got it for 500 rands. I don't know if you can see here. It's basically a tracksuit. She will look comfortable in it. And then I'll pack some clothes in my hand luggage in case I need to change her. If she messes herself up. Okay. Then, guys, for myself, I got myself this new um, leather pants. It's cute, right? And I love this design here. 
and guess what i'll be pairing it with i mean we are in winter now but where i'm going to is not cold so i'll be wearing it with this nice sweater <laughs> and guys that's all for now mm -hmm. so i will just start packing but before that let me show you this is the second box that i'll be using and then guys i did laundry and this is my laundry basket all these clothes are clean i have to air them again guys the room is just a mess let me show you <laughs> yeah i have to pack all of them but before that i have to eat breakfast so let's go make breakfast guys don't mind my What did happen to the last ten? I ran away with my life, fast forward, never to do my lashes, guys. Want to transform. But you know, you're okay. I'll change your okay. You're okay. But I'm a yellow pony, you're okay. I'll change your okay. guys don't really mind what i was saying i forgot my microphone is bad but anyways this is just me showing you my knotless braids my nails my lashes i was just showing off <laughs> basically yes yeah, so the lady did a very good job i wanted neutral nails i didn't want nails that would shout everywhere Ooh, you know i'm not used to this thing so i wanted to be as discreet as possible so here our luggages and baggages are ready and we're ready for the airport <laughs> guys after about nine hours from cape town we finally reached doha yes this is us we're still in the sky but we are, we are already in doha so guys let me tell you if you want to travel from any part of the world to wherever you're going i would greatly recommend to use qatar airways this is not a publicity they didn't pay me for this no not at all I just want to tell you that if you have kids, they will make sure the kids are comfortable. They give them, um, how do they call them, coloring material. They give them pets. They just give them everything to make the journey feel good. And then this is us here in Qatar Airport, guys. The airport is magnificent. You know Ramsey Golden Rice? I, I think you do know him. 
this is his restaurant he has a restaurant there called pizza street and burger something like he has a chain of restaurants there at the airport where you can have lunch so while at the airport we had like a six hours layover that means our next flight was to leave after six hours guys but finally we traveled we reached safely and hobby came to pick us up he brought me some flowers and chocolates <laughs> somebody was so happy to see her daddy mm -hmm. you know she screamed at the airport everybody was just looking at her like oh this one yes guys so we had something to eat at the airport before heading home and from the airport to where my hobby lives is like one hour away no, so you know if you have to book an uber <laughs> for that distance you will not be able to pay it will be so expensive yeah so we landed at Heathrow airport and then guys we went into the train on the train and we're getting ready to go like guys one hour away anyways be ready for more videos okay <laughs>